Fisker is gradually working toward being a successful electric vehicle maker, walking in the footsteps of Tesla and Rivian. The automaker's offering of the Ocean SUV has gained unforeseen attention as it looks to be a very compelling offering, with desirable features and a good price. The company's further announcement of future offerings like the $30,000 small car and its pickup truck is bringing a lot of buzz and excitement in this space. We recently got an announcement from Fisker detailing more price and performance details. Let's take a look. Hi, welcome to Volter Media where we explore recent news and most exciting developments in technology. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to set your preferences. It really helps the channel out and makes it grow. Before we get into the video, I would like to pass on a special message about a close friend of the channel. Lewin is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. He has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, but his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Lewin is a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. His health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. The Fisker Pier has emerged as a standout contender in the cheap EV segment, looking to offer what Tesla promised but it has been too busy to achieve. A sub-$30,000 electric vehicle with good range and an overall compelling feel. Recently made available for reservations, this agile urban EV comes with an enticing price tag of $29,900, instantly capturing the attention of budget-conscious EV enthusiasts. However, what truly sets the Fisker Pier apart is not just its affordability, but its ability to challenge conventional thinking in the automotive industry. Fisker announced a whole bunch of new facts and figures about the 2026 Pier, which is slated to begin U.S. manufacturing in July. As promised before, the company believes it will offer the Pier with a starting price of $29,900 before incentives. Before that, we'll see a production intent Pier next month when it will put one on display at its Fisker launch store in Munich. Fisker doesn't plan to make it a boring EV. They are choosing to add unique features that would make the vehicle stand out. Imagine a world where opening your car's tailgate in tight spots is a thing of the past. That's precisely what the Fisker Pier offers with its innovative Houdini trunk. This feature, which has created a lot of excitement, elegantly disappears under the vehicle, eliminating the need for manual operation. While it may take a second or two longer to use than a traditional tailgate, the convenience it offers in urban settings is undeniable. It challenges conventional tailgate design. It's a retractable trunk panel. Its operation was a little slow when it was demoed, but Fisker promises it will be even faster when the car reaches production. Personally, I kind of like it. It's a brilliant design. However, we will see how it works out in real life. Hopefully, its design works well when you need it. On the outside, the Fisker Pier may appear deceptively conventional, at least based on the limited imagery available. However, looks can be deceiving. Fisker has incorporated a new light steel body structure that reduces the number of parts by a staggering 35%. But what truly tickles the imagination is the presence of what Fisker whimsically calls a fruit, a front boot. Really, it's a frunk, but enough with the new names for everything. It's a small detail, but it adds a touch of charm to this urban-centric EV. The front trunk can be insulated for temperature-sensitive storage. The pier's exterior camera mirrors are still under review, according to Fisker. Stepping inside the Fisker pier, you'll find more surprises waiting. The optional 17-inch rotating screen immediately grabs your attention, offering a futuristic touch to the cabin. What's even more intriguing is the lounge mode, allowing the seats to fold flat, creating additional space. This feature turns your car into a potential venue for a camping trip movie night. Furthermore, Fisker's commitment to using recycled and bio-based materials underscores their sustainability smarts, aligning with the goal of making the pier carbon neutral by 2027. The versatility of the Fisker Pier extends to its seating options. If you so choose, it can comfortably seat six individuals. The absence of a center console allows for three passengers up front and three in the back, making it a unique offering in the EV market. While this raises questions about the comfort of six full-sized adults, it's a bold move that challenges the norms of interior design. To keep costs low, the Pier will likely offer a fairly stripped-back features list but expect modern infotainment and a dash of style. We've only got a quick peek of the pier's interior so far, but we noticed cloth upholstery and bright blue dashboard accents. Fisker has incorporated a drawer-style front trunk and a power-retractable rear cargo door into the design too.
Range anxiety is a common concern for EV owners, but the Fisker Pure aims to alleviate it. Official specs are still a ways away, but Fisker promises the Pure will be offered with both short and long-range battery options. With two battery choices offering estimated aimed ranges of 198 miles and 348 miles according to VIP LTP, it offers flexibility to suit different needs. Additionally, buyers can choose between rear and all-wheel drive options and opt for standard 20-inch wheels or upgrade to 22-inch wheels. Excitingly, Fisker hints at a high-performance variant, the Pure Extreme, which promises an exhilarating driving experience. Surely a single motor will power the rear-wheel drive Pure's while all-wheel drive ones will get a dual motor setup. Fisker claims that the Pure will be able to hit 60 miles per hour in as little as 6.3 seconds, but we suspect that's for the dual motor all-wheel drive variant. When we learn more about the Pure's powertrain, we'll update the story with details and driving impressions. Under the hood, or rather under the digital surface, the Fisker Pure introduces us to the Fisker Blade Suite. This in-house computer platform is designed for software-defined vehicles and sets the stage for the future of automotive technology. It's not just about the car, it's about the connected and digital customer experience. The integration of a 5G and or Wi-Fi 6 wireless network effectively turns the Pure into a cloud-connected mini data center, pushing the boundaries of what we can expect from our vehicles. For those eager to get behind the wheel of the Fisker Pier, the wait won't be too long. Production and deliveries are slated to commence in July 2025, but the real deal is set to debut at an upcoming motor show in Munich, offering a tangible glimpse into the future of urban EVs. The anticipation is palpable and curiosity is most definitely peaked. The Pier will be built on a lightweight, low-cost platform that the automaker promises will feature a 35% parts reduction versus traditional manufacturing. But there's a lot that can happen between now and 2025. This video is sponsored by T-Wraps Matte Screen Protector for the R1T and R1S displays. The T-Wraps Matte Screen Protector is a polyethylene terephthalate set of screen protectors custom made for the R1S and R1T displays. The set of three protectors is made to fit the center console display, the instrument cluster display, and the second row display. It can protect your R1 vehicle screen against scuffs and scratches. The matte surface prevents glare for comfortable use. It has a perfect fit, helps reduce fingerprints, and comes with an installation kit plus video instructions to help you install it without any expert help. Check it out now. Link in the video description. The Fisker Pier manages to stand out with its innovative features and commitment to affordability. From the Houdini trunk to the fruit, from sustainability smarts to seating flexibility, and from cutting edge technology to a unique design philosophy, the Pier challenges the norms and offers a fresh perspective on what an urban EV can be. So, are you ready to embrace this new perspective? What do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section below. Do you find the video interesting? If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching.